Well, and your career took such leaps and bounds throughout this journey that you've had. How do you think you've been so successful? I, it's kind of you to say. I, I, I like your description of my career. <laughs> uh, the, um, I, I think one of the biggest things that I've, that I've done is I've taken real risks over and over again. And so when I was a, a 21, I moved to New York. I didn't have a job. I didn't, have, uh, I, 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 I didn't really have uh, any set idea of how I would make a living. But I had a sense that if I wrote for America, uh, if I wrote for English magazines about America, there was a market there. And so it was a kind of target rich area. Then again, I moved to I moved to Hong Kong later, having never been to Asia. Uh, that again was very risky, and I had two young kids and a wife that I was dragging along with no real idea of whether it would work out. And then a few years ago, uh, giving up pretty steady, decently paid job at a big news organization to go write books when I had two kids in private school, again was possibly foolhardy and reckless. But <laughs> I think I think it gave me it gave me tremendous opportunities. I was prepared to that I was prepared to pick everything up and say, you know, I'm getting a bit bored, I'm getting a bit restless, what would be exciting and fun now? And so I think that that willingness to, to change, regardless of, mm -hmm. of what you're doing, is, is very powerful. And then the, the other thing I would say is just sheer persistence, because, you know, I've, I've had so many failures along the way where you would, you would think that a project would work out or you'd think that a particular job would work out and it wouldn't or, you, you know, the writing business is very bruising mm -hmm. and so you would write a story that you'd spend weeks on and then it would get killed and, or it would get butchered by an editor because writers always think their editors butcher their prose. And, and so, you know, I think as in any profession, you have to kind of pick yourself up after these very bruising experiences and, and, and say, well, you know, wow, that re really hurt and mm -hmm. I'm going to keep going anyway. And I, I see that with a lot of the famous people I've interviewed over the years that they just have this, this kind of dogged perseverance that they, you know, they, they still go through tremendous uh, adversity and setbacks, but they, they don't give up in the way that I think, that I think most people do. A, a, f a friend of mine at one point said to me that, that in his experience, people always quit right before the miracle. And, and you know, he was someone who, who was sort of freeing trafficked women. And he, you know, I talked to him when he, he was in tremendous danger and had gone into hiding. And the next thing I knew, he'd gone back to exactly the same place that he'd, he'd been in when he'd been in tremendous danger. That process of being able to learn from failure that fearlessness or that resiliency, do you think it's something that people are born with or did you develop it or? It's a great question. I, I think some people definitely have a, a bigger capacity to deal with failure and setbacks and the like. And I, 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 th I think you can develop it. Philosophically, you can, you can look back at your life and say, you know, I, I failed at that and it wasn't the end of the world. I, it didn't destroy me. And I think when you've been through enough failures and you've bounced back from them, you sort of say, you know what, I, I think I'm going to be okay at this point. And I've often felt looking back on my life that I'd sort, of, I'd sort of gone from failure to failure and yet somehow the trajectory was upwards, you know, because <laughs> this is just the way your life goes, right? It's like, it's like this. It's, it's not a straight upward trajectory. And so I, I, I think that mindset is very, it's very important, but it, it grows partly out of the experience of realizing that you, you survived even though you were bruised.